I'm sorry I wasn't um, up to finding a better surrounding. I know you guys are probably really getting sick of this, my computer desk surrounding. Okay. Agitated depression. It's the other kind of depression. Physical symptoms. Restlessness, pacing, wringing hands, etc. Fidgeting. Twirling, worrying at your hair, pulling at your clothes. Feeling exhausted, but. But unable to sit still exhausted but you're still hyperactive with your mind worrying and it keeps your body going an unproductive activity of just fretting is the good word for it uh, tight stomach some people will get um, tight stomach um, even Vomiting, decrease in, or decrease in appetite. I wish I had that one more often than the other. Um, insomnia. Isn't it, and, and especially depression will do the weird early awakening. You wake up much earlier than you should short of getting enough sleep and can't go back to sleep but isn't it interesting I always found it interesting that with depression you can have you know you eat too much or you eat too little you sleep too much or you sleep too little you know and it's still depression and like sometimes I'll have the one kind and sometimes I'll have the other Mania, physical symptoms, obviously, physically being unable to keep still, it is like your muscles have a mind of their own, um, I, I like, have to be standing up while I'm talking to people. And moving you know I can't just like sit down and relax and chat when uh, I'm feeling hypomanic or manic and it's rude <laughs> but I can't do anything about it um, even or watching a movie uh, folding clothes organizing something picking at something playing with a dog I can't sit and watch a television show um, I mean, yeah, your muscles just feel, it's different than restless leg syndrome, if you know what that is, but, or like akathisia, if I have that correctly, some of the, um, that some of the antipsychotics, I had it with Abilify, that is seriously uncomfortable, by the way. No, this is like you have a kind of mini goal. You know, like you're manic and someone's trying to have a conversation with you and you see tax over on a cork board and you must go over there and arrange the tax, you know. But it's compelling physically. And to me, the euphoric mania, when I got really high, <laughs> it felt like I swear, I'm not exaggerating, I'm totally for real. It felt like my brain was being tickled by these millions of little tickle, 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 tickle. And I was just sitting there grinning from ear to ear. It felt so good. I'm guessing that some people who do illegal drugs might know a little bit of how good that feels. <laughs> it's tingly, brain tingly, and it's very pleasant feeling. Um, I also find uh, that my senses are very heightened and this can be a good thing when hypomania because it adds to the creativity 
visual colors stand out more contrast um, the lines are more defined and music has more meaning I can hear every little instrument you know every vocal you know and, and just be fascinated by it all and where I can't normally hear some, all the individual pieces um, of what I see. It's like I'm seeing everything completely. And, and I don't mean that philosophically, I mean that seriously. Like, usually we have our peripheral vision and like right now I, there's junk on my desk shelves but there's camera right in front of me and that's really what I see. Everything else is slightly blurry on the edges. But with mania, hypomania, it's like I can focus on everything all at once. And and at first it's good for creativity and stuff, but when you start time getting into mania, phoblomania, you are actually trying to focus on every single thing completely you can't do that <laughs> it's impossible but you'll try it's just that's why it's like from here to there from here to there to this to that to this and this and I gotta do that and blah 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 um and the movements your movements physically with mania are just you know the opposite of a depressive movements with that slow apathetic where everything's like molasses you have abrupt movements a little tricky maybe it might frighten people like let me see that <laughs> you know kind of thing and um you know there's no th not a whole lot of thought processes going on between your brain and your movement and um just comes off being a little erratic um, especially as you get into the more mania than hypomania you might be able to still focus and rein it in a little bit with hypomania but I'm gonna um, now and if I'm leaving anything out which I probably am because I mean, I did these notes when I was thinking more clearly, but my depression has become down to severe, and I scale mild, moderate, severe. So I'm probably missing some things. So I would not mind if you mentioned things I might be missing. Missing, and I'm gonna finish the last one video for mixed because it's got its own, you know special feelings and physical manifestations. <laughs>